Hey, what is happening everybody? So today, today is Thursday, and I've got a pretty busy day today. I've got some clients to train, um, gonna work out, and just gonna take you along for some bits of it. Don't know what yet, but gonna bring you along for the ride. But first of all, we're gonna start off with some breakfast. Okay, so in the gym, um, gonna do a little workout. So just finished training some clients, had my food earlier on. Um, so as you can see, I had the smoothie. That's a pretty typical breakfast snack for me. Um, so I'd say breakfast slash snack, depending on time of day. Um, I only really have an actual breakfast on the mornings when I'm gonna come in here in the morning and then I wanna train straight after. If I'm coming in here in the morning and then I'm gonna go home, then I'll normally just fast in the mornings. I won't bother having breakfast. I'll go home and I'll have a bigger lunch. Um, that typically is what I do. But because today I wanted to come in here, train some clients, then I wanted to train afterwards and I wanted to make sure I had some food first. So that smoothie is pretty ideal for me because it's quick. Um, don't really like spending too long making stuff in the morning so the smoothie is nice and quick Greek yogurt um, protein powder frozen blueberries frozen raspberries scoop of peanut butter handful of spinach and that is roughly around four or five hundred calories for that it's probably got about 30 40 grams of protein in it um, really low on carbs and a little bit of fat so super filling super nice Super convenient. So I'm gonna get a work in that work in, gonna get a workout in now, gonna do some upper body stuff. So we're gonna start with a few supersets, giant sets, and then gonna finish off with a sweet little heart raiser. Um, so let's take you along with me. <laughs> So, starting off the workout with supersets. So I'm a huge fan of supersetting exercises because I want to get in, I want to hit as much muscle groups as possible and get out. Um, so starting with a flat bench press, straight into a um, muscle up. So I'm trying to get to the stage where I can do unassisted bar muscle ups, but it's taking a bit of work. Um, got to get 
a lot stronger at certain things to be able to get that. So I want to get in the gym three, four days a week. And in that time, I want to maximize my time in the gym. So very little rest times, working as much muscle groups as possible, and trying to get a workout done in about 40 minutes. So that's why I like to superset like this. Okay, so they are damn tough. The muscle ups. <sighs> Aiming for between three and four reps on that last one, I only managed to get two. But they're tough. Um, so that's four sets of that done. Moving on to the next thing. Okay, so next up, moving into incline dumbbell press. So working more of the upper chest, a little bit more of the front of the shoulders, and then supersetting that with wide grip pull-ups. So I'm doing 10 reps on the incline press, straight into five repetitions of the pull-ups. So again, supersetting pushing movement with pulling movement. Four rounds of this. So next up, we're going to do a single arm renegade row, super set with a straight arm pull down. Always do double the amount of pulling to pushing for shoulder health, postural health. A lot of things we do on a daily basis cause us to round forwards. So if I do double the amount of pushing movements, it's going to cause me to go more like this. Whereas if I do double the amount of pulling, all the muscles across the back are going to get strong. It's going to cause me to open up more. So my posture is going to be better. My shoulders are going to be healthier and you're just gonna look better. So I always do double the amount of pulling movements. Well, not necessarily double, but more pulling than pushing. 
Um, straight arm pull down is to also help me get better at the muscle ups because that is one of the parts of the movement is driving those arms down into the bar to help me get over. Single arm renegade row, your core comes into it massively because through the most of the workout, you've only got three points of contact to the floor. The other arm's off the ground, so you're having to work on your balance and your core's really involved there. for the finishing part, which is to get the heart rate up and just leave everything on the table. And that is gonna be a devil press and then leg raises on the machine. So it is gonna be starting with one devil press, 10 leg raises, then into two devil press, 10 leg raises, three devil press, 10 leg raises, and see how far I can get within a time, 10 minute on the stopwatch, 10 minute time cap, so see how high I can get, the devil press is the marker, however many reps I can get up on that one. Okay, so we're gonna dive into this, it's gonna be pretty nasty. That was pretty nasty. After all of the pulling movements, my forearms and biceps were shot. So with the leg raises, I was really struggling to do them unbroken. I'm not gonna lie, like my grip was going. Um, but that is an effective way to finish a workout, to just leave everything that was left in the tank. It's gonna get your heart rate up. It's gonna work all different muscles in your body. You don't need to be in the gym four or five days a week. If you're working out like that twice a week, you're gonna get decent results. As long as each time you go in the gym, you are pushing yourself to try and do better. You're going one rep further, you're going one round further, you're pushing yourself to lift a slightly heavier weight. As long as you're doing those things, on those days that you're in the gym, you're gonna be constantly pushing yourself and you're gonna be improving. I aim to get down to the gym two, three, sometimes four days a week and workouts like that, either or I do home workouts like you've seen in my previous vlogs. As long as they're intense, as long as they're pushing yourself, you don't need to be in the gym for a huge amount of time. All in all that workout took me about 40 minutes, I think. Um, and I was mucking about with the camera as well, remember? So a little bit longer for that kind of stuff. So getting the cardio element in, because there's very little rest times. I'm building muscle, I'm using all different muscle groups, I'm burning a heck of a lot of calories because of the intensity, particularly with the last bit of the workout, the devil press and the leg raises, which again, they're gonna get my heart rate up, they're gonna burn calories, they're gonna get me out of breath, so I'm gonna be working on my cardiovascular as well, but also they're using muscles and it's using resistance again, so I'm gonna be building muscle at the same time. So. You don't need a huge amount of time in the gym. You just need to make sure that when you are in there, you're pushing, your, pushing yourself and you're working hard, not sitting there on your phone and 
not chatting too much. Okay, I understand that for some people it's a social aspect, but then you need to realize that maybe if you're gonna go in there from the social aspect, you might not get as great a result. Or maybe you're better off doing a class where there's a bit more of a, a team spirit, a bit more of an environment, and you can get that social aspect as well as working hard. So that's the end of that workout. I'm gonna grab something to eat and then get ready to train more clients. <laughs>